Hey coaches, Coach Mackey here and welcome to my channel. If this is the first time visiting my channel, welcome. If you want to know what this is about, well, if you love the spread offense, RPOs, passing schemes, running schemes, tempo, any and everything that has to deal with the spread offense, then this channel is for you. I put out a video every other week detailing air raid, spread concepts, RPOs, any and everything. So if that's right up your alley, click that link below. And if you've joined me and you've been a part of this channel for a very long time, welcome back. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, my podcast, or this channel, or if you're on my email list, you know I love the Air Raid. I think it's one of the greatest offenses ever created in the history of football. And if you don't think that, please, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It is great. Now, that being said, you have to know how to practice it. You need to know the drills. You need to know what uh, Indy, what you have to do in Indy, what you have to do in team, the screens, and all that. But the drill you need to do, if you want to get great at the Air Air Raid Quick Game, the Y stick, the Y corner, the fade out. You must do this drill. I'm fixing to go over every single day, and there will be no confusion by your uh, wide receivers, no confusion with your running back, and especially no confusion with your quarterback. But before we get into that, if you want to learn more about the spread, if you want to get video courses on the Air Raid, how to run your entire offense from one formation, uh, practice scheduling and scripting, if you want to get resources on the spread, if you want to talk to some great coaches that are sharing their secrets on how they are just mastering the spread scoring points and having fun then you want to become a member of the Ron Mackey football coaching club it's right down below click the link it'll take you to my site it's it, it's a centralized hub where coaches like-minded coaches can get together and learn about the spread offense now let's get into the drill so here's our drill coach and we change this up every single day sometimes we can go three by one two by two it depends on what you want I'm just going to go over the gist of what we do so we've got dual right our two two by two to the right we're running our stick concept and this is what we do we have everybody our first group is up so the l the f the y and the r we have our quarterbacks right up here first quarterback second third and fourth if you don't have enough of those you can use wide receiver that's like the oh crap if both of them go out and then another coach right here do what you want but we make sure that we have four and what we do is we go over the stick concept so if we're running stick to the right we put the next guy that's up as the r outside and that forces him to outside release and we've everybody's running their stick concept, running his slant, running his stick and sit. And this is what happens, okay? So the first quarterback, oh, I'm sorry. And then the tailback is running his shoot. And what's happening is the quarterback, first quarterback, is going right here. This is who he's doing. The second quarterback is throwing the vert. The third quarterback is throwing the slant. The fourth quarterback is throwing the hitch. Simple stuff. So that he is calling it whoever is throwing this little area right here because this is the main function of the drill is calling the cadence everybody else falls in line so he's going he's saying ready said go catching or what we do is we spin it and catch to simulate a, a snap he's spinning catch taking one step and then his eyes are on me and this is what the coach is i'm either going to stay inside and if that's the case he throws it outside or i'm going to run outside and he throws it inside i'm not dicking with him i am making a clear read for him so he knows where to go later on i will mess with him a little bit play games but starting out i want i'm giving him a clear Clear decision where he needs to go inside or outside everybody else is throwing it to their guy and then once that's over with this guy will catch it score come on back he goes here next person in line he goes to the back everybody changes these guys now rotate one down so he rotates here there 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 and we do the same thing over again we keep doing that over and over and over again once we do the drill this way then we'll flip it and we'll go to the left and do the same thing so that that's how we do it that's the drill we use every single day now we do the corner it's the same drill but now this guy instead of throwing the vert is now throwing the corner everybody else does the same thing and if you notice the quarterback is still reading this guy who is me when the ball is snapped I either sit here and this guy throws it to the back or I run after the back and then I throw it right here every other quarterback is throwing it to the wide receiver they're all catching it and scoring once we go through everybody and this is a key point I really don't care if they get them all I care about the quarterbacks. Does the quarterback, does every quarterback go through every progression? Yes. Then we move on to the next one. We can flip it. We can go three by one. We can go two back. It doesn't matter. It's how you structure it. That's where you come in game planning or practice scheduling. That's where you earn the big, <laughs> the big bucks. But this is a way we can rep it every single day. Our quarterbacks get comfortable. Our guys get comfortable. Wide receivers, running backs, they get comfortable with this. And it's how we get great at these two routes.
Another drill that we found that works really well and works on simplifying things and condensing it so you're working two different drills is you've got the Y stick, Y corner drill on the right side. You've got the fade out drill to the left side. And this is a way you can rep everything in one go every single practice and the kids get it. On the left side, you've got a coach right here. And this is the quarterback throwing. The quarterback simulates a snap, and then he's looking at the coach. What what does the coach do? Does he turn his dick to the sideline and run with the L? Well, then the quarterback's just going to catch, flip, and throw the F in the flat. Does the coach's dick, does it point to the quarterback, and he kind of gives that little zone shuffle step? Well, then the quarterback's going to fire that ball right into the whole shot right here. And then next group up, we got a new L and a new F. And we rep that over and over and over and over and over again. And the kids get it and they understand it so that when you call it on the game time, when you call it in practice and team, they, there's no confusion. They know what they're doing. There you go, coaches. That's the drill we use every single day day to master the air raid quick game remember we we do it every day so two by two mondays three by ones tuesdays two back on wednesdays and then that following thursday we're back by two by two it helps the quarterbacks know who they're looking at it helps the wide receivers find grass it helps the running backs to catching the balls because that's kind of a difficult skill for them to learn out of the backfield and it's something you just have to embrace the boredom and get great at if you want to learn how to simplify your air raid game if you want to be able to run your entire offense from one formation or how to structure your practice so you're getting the, the most from your kids in a short amount of time. If you want to have some resources, OL drills, quarterback drills, wide receiver drills, cut-ups of different teams running different concepts in high school, not just college, then become a member of Ron Mackey Football. You can find the link down below and just click on it, join us, get involved with the form and everything. It is an amazing community that is only growing and I can't wait to see you in there. And until next video, let's continue to master the spread, score points, and have fun.